So one of the enhancements that we can make to our interactive movies is to add bookmarks. Bookmarks, as you might expect, will enable viewers to actually shift through from different points within the movie to, you know, specific subjects. So in this case, I'm adding bookmarks about the maritime section. I've added a bookmark about the weather and I'll add another bookmark about volcanoes. So these will enable users to just click on that bookmarks and see them there. I can delete a bookmark if I want to remove that. And we can also edit bookmarks fairly easily just by selecting them again. Drag your cursor across or select them and then double click when it's displayed to actually edit that. So we can add bookmarks that enables people to jump around quickly. Obviously we do that in a longer movie, perhaps not in a 30 second movie. I'm going to add some other elements here as well. Um, first of all, some labels. So labels are just literally a tiny or a small piece of text that um, highlights a, a particular item. So in this case, I'm going to label this particular person as a climber or the guide perhaps. And then the mysterious lake at the bottom is just a body of water. So fairly simple, obviously, in this example. Your uh, own work will probably be a lot more interesting than this. So if I sort of think about that now, those labels are there probably a little bit too long. So again, just like with the, with the questions, I want to alter the amount of time that they're displayed. It's almost more important here because we're not actually pausing the video. The video is continuing to play and we're just having these labels displayed in, in a relatively short amount of time there. The next thing I'm going to do is add a web link. Um, in this case, a link to a adventure in Auckland, a volcano adventure. We can, again, format this so that it displays nicely on screen. Um, quite an awkward image to uh, have here because it's got very a lot of variety in the color. So I'm trying to find a good place to display that. Um, a little bit awkward in this example. And then I can also add some text. So a label is a very small item. Uh, text, again, I'm not gonna pause the video, but I'm gonna display this for a slightly longer period because we'll want people to actually uh, possibly read this. So give it a meaningful title at the top and then add that text into the movie. Again, we can actually use this because we're using a button. We can actually jump people to a particular time code, for example, a particular point within the movie if it's a if it's a reasonably long piece of work. And that will appear on screen. Again, I can click that and just move it over there. I'm going to put the finishing touches to this interactive movie now. We've gone through step one, step two, and now on to step three, which is an optional summary task. So the summary task is something that will appear at the end or very close to the end of the movie once we've worked through it, perhaps interacting as we go. So I want to introduce this activity, this summary, and sort of describe what it is we're looking for, what we want. And um, basically it's a number of statements. It is one of the standard H5P type activities. We can give a number of statements with, uh, which, which could be quite similar. So we're looking for the learners to interpret each of those and pick the best or the, the most correct uh, statement each time and build up a build up a list of, of statements that are accurate uh, reflections or accurate accurate assessments of what's been what's been shown in the movie. Do notice that option that it's always the first option that is correct in this case. Again, I'm not going to go through every setting here because it is a fairly straightforward activity type. We can just put in the statements, basic formatting, and some help or a tip for text. Very straightforward. 
very easy to do. So this will, by default, now I've set this up, appear close to the end of the movie, around three seconds from the end of the movie, just so it kind of comes in just before the, the uh, video finishes. And then I'm happy with all this. I'm a Moodle, so I'm just going to go down to the bottom and click Save and Display, and that will take us to the finished article. So I'm now going to view the final object. I've logged in as a student to have a real true impression of what's happening here. Uh, here we go. I can click on the interactive content. There's a web link there to open the airport. It's by far the largest and most multicultural of the country's cities. Here's the question that uh, regarding the capital of New Zealand. Located on a narrow strip on the North Island, Auckland is a city of volcanoes. Bookmarks that we can see. Flows forming its main thoroughfares and its many cones providing And some text popping up there to tell us there's a Another question choice. Fairly familiar H5P interactions here, but nice to have them within the movie. Text label. And then the summary items that we added in. Students can just go through and pick the, the best statement and build up a kind of reflection of everything they've seen. We can add more feedback, of course, make it more useful, and then a nice summary at the end. And that's an H5P interactive movie.